Hey Blake, Ben here, going through some motion analysis of your swing from the, the cages, what you did uh, a few weeks back, and just uh, saw a couple things I wanted to pass on to you and the coaches to maybe uh, work on or uh, keep improving during uh, this winter time for training. And uh, from an athletic position, you can tell you're you're very athletic and uh, have some great uh, opportunity as you get older here. So that's uh, that's great. A couple things that I would work on. Uh, I think you can get a lot more out of your swing as far as for your power and your athletic ability. Uh, and I know it's kind of winter and, and uh, you're probably just uh, get back in the swing of, of just working on getting loose and getting a good feel. But uh, I do like uh, how relaxed you are when you swing. Uh, I want to get a little bit more attitude into it. Uh, I think you can uh, be at contact, be stronger, and uh, add some power into your swing and um, uh, just get more out of uh, your swing and, and hitting in general. Uh, and what I would like you to do is maybe try a couple things uh, that I would focus on. Uh, is one is is about your stance and your start. You do start pretty tall, which is fine, uh, and then you go into more an athletic position. Uh, your feet are pretty close together. Uh, I think you can get a lot more out of your swing and get more lower half into your uh, swing if you spread your feet out a little bit. So, uh, for example, here let me just take these lines and. And just for fun, you can uh, kind of just bring your front foot out here uh, a little bit more to get yourself a little bit more uh, just outside your shoulders um, to get yourself a little bit more athletic and have a little bit more bend in our knees. And that's going to get our, our more a little bit more weight uh, onto our legs and get us more balanced and in a, kind of a landing launch position. So that would be more of a, on your start here. When we go back and get ourselves loaded, one thing I do see as you get yourself loaded is you really, uh, because your feet are so close together, your shoulder goes off behind your back. I'm going to draw a line right here. You can see how your shoulder is over your knee. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, your head and your, and your shoulders kind of stay inside of your, your legs because of what that's going to do is it's really going to get you on your, your back side. And, and what happens is at contact, as we go forward here, uh, I think you're getting too caught back on your backside because sometimes when you rotate your foot, it doesn't come all the way up. It kind of rotates flat-footed on your backside. But some of this is because of your load. And you can see I like the fact that we're going back before we go forward, which I think is key. Uh, but as I go forward here, I want to make sure that I'm not going to have that knee come up over even with my foot. You can see that that knee... Uh, if I draw a little circle around your knee and around your foot, that that goes straight down. And that kind of gets us too, too much back uh, where I would like to have your foot be more back here and make sure that that knee uh, stays inside of your back foot so you can really drive off of it. So you want your more your line like that uh, of your knee compared to uh, your line now. Uh, you can see that you're from your knee going down to your foot you're more of just a straight line. So that's something that I would really work on is make sure when you get loaded that that, uh, that knee stays inside that back foot, and that's really going to help you uh, driving off of that ball or driving off the backside into the baseball at contact because I think you get kind of left back. You can see as I go, as I do my land foot, you can see how there's not much um, transfer yet where you need to get that, that weight a little bit more forward, uh, have those feet a little bit farther apart. You can see when I land... Uh, you're almost landing uh, pretty much the same as, as your stride. So when you start with in, a, in your, your stance and then you take your stride, it should be longer because ultimately you want to uh, transfer your weight into the baseball, which, which is fine. You kind of just put your foot up and, and kind of put it back down, but you can see how close uh, your knees are together. And I think something that's really going to help is maybe widen out those feet and start a little bit more athletic. Uh, to get yourself more into having every pound you got into the ball at contact. Uh, and that was a take right there. So let's get to this next next swing. So we start up tall. Let's see how we did on our load on this one. You can see how that line is still pretty much straight up and down. Let's make sure at this point that we kind of have this, uh, this knee turned in and that, that foot should be kind of back here. So just basically take that toe and, and turn this toe uh, in a little bit towards the pitcher, and that what that will do is that will turn that back knee in, and then if you move that front foot out just a hair, it's going to get you a lot more um, balanced and a lot more getting your lower half more involved in your swing, which I think is going to be key for you. Uh, you can see at contact, 
watch how that front foot, I can't see it because this, um, you can see how that front foot begins to open here. So as that front foot lands, that whole front foot is exposed. And you can see kind of uh, with, with the camera that it took, that flip camera, it has those uh, lines in there. But um, you can see how that front foot begins to spin and open on you. Uh, so there's two things I want to focus on. One is I want you to notice how close your knees are together. And those need to be a lot more apart uh, when I'm hitting. And, and spreading out your feet and turning in your back foot is going to help that a lot. Two is you really open up that front foot. You can see that kind of your, your toe if I take this off, you can see uh, underneath that um, little screen there, you can see that your toe is almost pointing at the picture right now. So you need to make sure that when you land that you can take a longer stride and that your, your foot, uh, your heel, wants to actually be facing kind of this on-deck hitter over here. And right now your heel is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but your heel is facing this way. So when you land, if you, if you get your, your front foot out farther, let's say to, to here, and then have that uh, heel more facing this way, then that's going to engage your lower half a lot more because right now when you hit the ball, you're going to be stuck in your back foot. You're going to be stuck backwards. And you can see how uh, you're kind of, you're in a good line, but your knees are too close together, so you're losing power, uh, and your weight is too far back instead of getting transferred into the ball a little bit more, and, and that deals with more just, just tweaking your lower half because I like your approach with your hands. You're nice and relaxed. You have a good, clean path. Head stays on the baseball nice, um, and do a good job with, with staying through the ball. But you can see that uh, I think you can really, really get a lot more out of your lower half uh, than what you're doing, and I think it'll make a big difference when you get to these large fields and uh, that huge fence that uh, is that skyline. So going into another swing here, you can see how short that stride is, uh, but more importantly, you can see that that front foot is totally uh, pointed at the pitcher, so that your toe right now is just pretty much pointing more towards second base or even the pitcher. And what that does is when that, that exposes that front hip, you can see when this front hip goes and that front foot turns, that just all your power is going to go away. And you can see how close our, our feet are together. So um, I think the focus is for you is, is just to get yourself wide, to engage your lower half into your swing and um, just really get heavy on it. But don't get caught back. So when you stride, there's a separation. There's a load, you get more power, you get more uh, athleticism into the baseball, and those are the biggest things that I see because I like your path, I like your upper body, I like your hands, I like your athletic ability. Your head position is fine. Uh, to me, it's it's more of just a, a bottom half issue uh, of things to work on this winter. So uh, just some things to, to work on, and, and hopefully you can get uh, something out of this with your coaches, and uh, have a great winter training.